Okay, so, yeah, I'm doing some songs, and I kind of figured I'd take a moment to give, like, a really fun tutorial. I was going to do one with Ben and Jerry's, but I got to it before the video did, so that didn't happen. So, as a lot of you probably know about me, if you know me in person, I not only like or even love sour apple, I am obsessed with it. Thoroughly obsessed with it. I don't know what it is. It's one of my favorite flavors. It makes a wonderful drink, whether it's alcoholic or virgin, which in my case is a virgin drink, at least until December. <laughs> um, and it's also a great candy. So, how would you like to make lime juice taste even better and make the sour punch Apple straws taste amazing. Oh, more amazing than they already did. Simple little trick. You know how the sour punch deals are called apple straws? Well, that's for a very fun reason. Um, it's actually because they have this dandy little hole that goes right through the middle. So, what you do take a cup of lime juice and you want to carefully set these in here you want to make sure that they don't sink down in I can't tilt the camera right so that you can actually see this um, without actually knocking over my drink and spilling it and ruining a second laptop which would really tick me off because this one was a present at my baby shower from my dad Thank you, Dad, a lot. It gets more use than my old one did, which is surprising because this one has Windows 8. I hate Windows 8, but I use it a lot. So, what you do after, you know, dunking it like I've been doing, even though I didn't tell you that I was doing it, just kind of figured you'd, you know, know how to do it. Okay, obviously, put your mouth over one end, like a straw. If you've never used a straw, Go to Burger King, go to McDonald's, whatever, get a drink, put a damn straw in it, and suck on the straw. Anyways. Okay. You get a nice lime flavor in your mouth. Now, put your finger over the top hole. Pull up, holds a little bit of liquid in. There you go. Softens up the sour. Um, while making the sour more intense. So, it's better if it's cold, it doesn't pull off the little candy deals on the outside as much. This I let get a little bit warmer. And when you get really good at this, you can do it like I've been doing where it doesn't pull off your makeup. This is just basic paint. Not face paint. This is the stuff that they have us use back in the school. Now I understand why. Because if you put it on thick enough and you let it dry, guess what? Work up an edge, it peels right off. No risk. Mm. Just little fun tips. Um, enjoy. <laughs> 